Let's check today's email. Dear blah blah blah, we'll give you a couple of free bird feeders if you make a video featuring them. Uh, okay, let's see. A clear plastic feeder, some other type of plastic feeder. You know, taking that deal infers that I endorse products like this, and I just don't do endorsements unless I buy the product and do an unbiased review. You know, if they actually watch my channel, they would know that I make my own birdhouses and feeders and kitchen knives and furniture and wine racks and bowls and vases and wood sculptures too. And the real problem is I'm not for sale. Even though this stuff is free, I would feel like a typical YouTube sellout. I truly love the work that I do on my tiny little woodworking channel, but my small size doesn't seem to stop various suppliers from offering me free stuff in exchange for featuring their product in a video. Most of the offers I get are for things that don't make any sense whatsoever for a woodworking channel. And I mean really, really stupid product associations that don't fit with my channel at all. But it's free, you say? Here's a list of my favorite but stupidest products offered to my channel for free. Number one. Well, let's start the ridiculous with something easy. Hello, the family woodworker. Yep, that's my name. Looks like I can get some free tableware for posting a video about it. I guess black is the new silver. The silverware is going to work great in the wood shop. You just have to make sure the fork is clean. Not really a great wood shop product. Number two. Hello, dear friend. Aw, and I don't even know the guy but it looks like I can get a free faux diamond pendant in exchange for a video. Cool. An old woodshop guy wearing a diamond pendant? Maybe not the look they were hoping for, which begs the question, do these guys even look at my channel? Number three. Hello, the family woodworker. Yep, clearly my legal name. This seems to be a religious advent countdown calendar filled with toy dinosaurs. I don't get it. Am I just helping to sell the toy or somehow supporting that dinosaurs somehow fit in with that religious story? In any case, definitely not a woodshop thing. Number four. Hello, the family woodworker. Hey, that's me. This product will be given to you in exchange for a YouTube video. Wait a minute. Get this. It's not a free Nutribullet. It's just parts for a Nutribullet. What? Yeah, buddy, send me those parts so I can talk about how great they work on a blender I don't own. Great marketing strategy. Doofus, dweeb, dits. Moving on. Number five. Okay, this offer is a little different. Looking for a partnership with their affiliate program to help market a ski fashion brand. This usually involves wearing the clothing, providing some links for product purchase, and then getting a commission on any items that are sold. The stuff looks pretty cool, but I don't think they envisioned an old guy like me being a brand ambassador. But I look wicked cool, right? Mm. Number six. Hey, I really like this company name, Wantgore, who would like me to produce a full video about this product in exchange for a free ring box. But like, why are there three slots? You're giving someone a ring, but with two empty slots in the box? Isn't she going to want to know what you did with the other two rings? You two-timer. Excuse me, three-timer. It also looks like something I could get at the dollar store. Oh, that's gonna hurt! Number seven. Hi, blah, 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 blah. A free couch? No way. Oh, as long as I pay a discount fee, they will refund me the rest of the money. Yeah, sure. But be sure to shoot an assembly and review video. All of that would be pretty cool, except this is a woodworking channel. Even though I don't have room in the shop for a couch, this is what it would look like after only one of my projects. My wife already knows I'm a little messy. Number eight. Hello, you sexy beast. How about a collaboration with a beachwear company? This product will be given to you for free in exchange for a video. Decent website, colorful swimwear, but with me as a model? Um, that's not me. And by the way, there's a reason I wear long sleeve shirts over my pants in the wood shop because sawdust trickling down into your shorts isn't all that much fun for the boys. So no, swimwear in the wood shop isn't a great idea. Number nine. More toys made from wood, and I can get a 10% commission on each unit sold. Feels a little bit like I'm back being a cheap shill for a company I don't know. And once again, I have a woodworking channel. I will probably be making my own wooden toys for my grandkids, thank you. Number 10. This 
is my absolute favorite product offer from a company and a sales rep who didn't even bother to check that I was a dude. In fact, an old gray dude. Why, yes, I'd love to partner with you on this exciting product. Wear those tights and make a video of me prancing around the wood shop in your product. The only real question I have is, would you prefer my video to feature the black or the flesh tone tights? I'm absolutely convinced that my promotional video will help you sell this amazing product. So that's it for my top 10 worst free product offers. So far, anyway. I think I'll continue rejecting emails like this, saving my reviews for tools and products that I actually choose to buy with my own money. That keeps some integrity in the house, and I'll still feel good about myself. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I really hope you give us a like, perhaps subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment too. It all helps our channel grow on YouTube. Stay frosty.